Hello aviators, how are you today? My name is Magnar Nordahl, I'm a captain and instructor on ATR aircraft. This is video number 5 about the primary flight display, PFD, in ATR aircraft with glass cockpit. The first video covers the procedures for power up until we are ready for takeoff. Video number 2 is from takeoff until reaching cruise speed. Video number 3 is about ILS approach and video number 4 is about El Navinav approach. If you have not seen them before, I recommend you to watch them because I explain the basics of the PFD and associated control panels. And I will not repeat myself. You will find links to the videos below. While ILS and El Navina are 3D approaches, where we have lateral and vertical guidance, we will now focus on the 2D approach, the El Nav approach, where we have only lateral guidance. Earlier variants of the ATA 600 do not have VNAV, and therefore, you must use vertical mode for descent and approach. This method is also used when you're flying ATR with FS cockpit. 200. We are on a flight from Aula to Kudu in the Maldives on Airway Zulu 652. The weather at Kudu is reported to be good and runway 18 is in use. The wind is from 290 degrees with 10 knots. We will have a tailwind component but the runway is uh, 1800 meters long and it is well inside the tailwind limitation, 10 knots. The temperature is 32 and QNH 1009. We will fly an RNP approach to runway 18 but without VNAV as some aircraft do not have this capability. That means the minima is increased from 380 feet to 470 feet. When flying El Navina, the autopilot follows a vertical path defined by the FMS, and minima is defined as decision altitude, DA. The decision to land or go around is made when reaching DA, just like an ILS approach. When flying an El Nav approach, we must use vertical speed mode for descent. This is less accurate, Therefore, the minima is higher. Also, minima is defined with minimum descent altitude, MDA. We are not allowed to descend below MDA unless we are visual and can land. To cater for altitude loss during go around, we must add an extra altitude. ATR is in aircraft category B, and at least 30 feet must be added. CDFA means continuous descent final approach. That means we shall not dive down to minima, level off and fly to the missed approach point while looking out. Instead, we will follow a 3 degrees profile to minima, and if not able to continue visually, go around. This is done a procedure even when CDFA is not printed on the approach chart. Are you ready for briefing? Since we are arriving from the north, we can omit the final approach fix and head directly to the intermediate fix, Mike Oscar 383. Inbound track is 183 degrees, final approach fix is Mike Oscar 3A2, which must be crossed at 1700 feet. Minima is 470 plus 30 feet, 500. From the final approach fix, pilot monitoring will read and cross check distance to threshold and altitude. Runway altitude is 4 feet, MSA 1500. Missed approach, climb straight ahead. Passing 1,000 feet, turn left direct to Kagat to 3,000 feet and hold, or as directed. Max speed 180 knots at initial approach fix, but we are not flying over any of them. When reaching top of the sun, selected altitude and the vertical deviation bar start to flash. We are cleared 4,000 feet. Two nautical miles before top of descent, I select VS mode, vertical speed minus 800 feet per minute.
Initially, we descend slightly below the vertical profile. When the vertical deviation bar is coming back, we increase vertical speed to minus 1500 feet per minute. From now on, pilot flying will use the Vina page on the MCDU to control the vertical path. Right now, it shows the target VS is minus 1530 feet per minute. And we are 70 feet above the profile. So I select 1600 feet per minute. All I have to do is to monitor the Vina page and adjust the vertical speed to stay on the profile all the way down to minimum. We also monitor the vertical deviation indicator on the PFT. In ATA aircraft with HD1000, the page looks like this. Looking out the window, we have some towering cumulus ahead, and we will keep an eye on them. Passing transition level, set QNH. Passing Gutum waypoint. Next waypoint is my Oscar 303. We are passing 4700 feet and I am navigating around a small cell in the heading mode. When clear, I select direct to my Oscar 303 and now mode. And now green. We are clear approach and set 1700 feet. On a 3 degree slope, the vertical speed is 5 times the ground speed. As we get closer to the ground, true airspeed is reducing and we must reduce the vertical speed. Auto speed, 170 magenta. And we reduce the power. As the speed is reducing, I must stay ahead of the aircraft and reduce VS. If not, we will drop further and further below the vertical profile. Passing my Cosca 303. And here is one important thing to remember. You must set Gordon altitude before reaching final approach fix, or the aircraft will level off at 1700. Flaps 15. Flaps extension will increase lift and we will pop up a few feet. And suddenly we are above the deviation bar. Gear down. Passing final approach fix on profile. Flaps 13. And we pop up again. Four miles, 1320 feet on profile. Before landing checklist.
3 miles, 1000 feet, on profile, stabilized. Two miles, 690 feet, on profile, via visual. Approaching minimums. Minima, continue. On a straight in approach, we can use the autopilot on to 160 feet above the runway. The tailwind is ground speed minus through airspeed, and on this landing it's not more than 6 knots. Autopilot off. Your damper off. The weather radar goes to standby when the wheels are on the ground. And that's all for this time. In the next video, we will have a look at the localizer approach. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day, and happy landing!